suburbs. I'm Axel, the one with the grenade. The lads and I lived a dream once. We had fun and no one knew who the fuck we were. Vivian's hamster played together for three years before it all came crashing down. Ten years later we've put the band back together. This is the story of how it happened. Here's our very first gig. There's Pesty on lead guitar. You'll see what we're calling that soon enough. Tim on bass, Mick Fire on vocals, me on rhythm, and Cameron on drums. After we split up, Cameron took himself off to Indonesia looking for spiritual enlightenment, some shit. Couldn't afford to play fair back, so he's still stranded there to this day. I couldn't really play, but no, that wasn't the point. It's true rock and roll. Vivian's hamster was born. Ten years later, at least one of us was making his mark on the world. Hi everyone, Shush, this is it. We can confirm that the seat of Smith has been won by the Dark Horse candidate, Tim. Yeah! upset considering this was the previous government's safest seat. This comes on the same day that the new MP was awarded a bravery medal for swimming out into the surf to save his rival candidate's pet chihuahua. We cross live now to tonight's motto draw. I couldn't have done it without you all. It was a long tough road but in the end it was a team effort. Of all the challenges that await me as your new hey, representative, Tim. there's Tim. none that... Is this your lotto ticket? Uh, yeah, but I'm giving a speech right now. Yeah, well, four of your numbers have just come on. Give me that. Hey, you're right, there's only 29 and 36 left. 36. And the last ball out of the barrel is the number 29. Oh. Those are your numbers, you just won a million dollars. Oh. Holy That's crap, I just won a million dollars! And you got voted oh. into Parliament, and you just won a bravery award. Does it get any better than this? Oh, Tim. Take me now. <laughs> me too. Welcome back to the election Take coverage. <laughs> We've had some breaking news. The new MP, Tim Kerr, yeah. has been disqualified after the 50,000 votes he was reported as having were actually only five votes. Excuse me, I'm just getting some breaking news now. What, are you sure? Uh, well, it seems that the... Uh, Votes were actually negative five votes, which is the first time in Australian history we've had a negative total. There's more. Yes. Oh, you've got to be kidding. The pet chihuahua that was supposedly rescued from the surf has, in fact, died after choking on some seaweed. <sighs> His medal for bravery is going to be taken back. That can't be right, the dog looked fine. I must have got some votes. You all voted for me, didn't you? Uh, no, uh, sir. Well, at least I've still got my friends to support me. Oh, yeah. guys, 
people, come on! Well, at least I'll still want the million dollars. Where's that ticket going? Oh no! The million dollars! This is terrible! Well, at least I've, I've still got Felix. He won't desert me. Yes, mate, so we've got a bail for a party to go to while I was... Yeah, this little dude don't look too good. There you go. Felix! How could this have happened to you? Mate, we need to have a talk. You guys will stand by me, won't you? Well, actually, we just had a house meeting and uh, we've decided, given your recent run of bad luck, you're kind of ruining the good vibes in this place. So, uh, oh, I can't tell him. You tell him. You're going to have to move out. Immediately. But I'm on the lease. Uh, uh, we feel bad for you too, mate, but, uh, you know, majority rules. Uh, it's been great. And uh, we'll miss you. Hello? Hello, Mick Fire? It's me, Tim. Who? Oh, Tim. How are you, mate? It's been ages. What's been happening? Mick, we have to get the band back together again. The band? Why? We're wasting our lives. Don't you remember what we had? We were about to become huge before it all fell apart. I think it's time. No, I can't be bothered. What? Look, I'm sure it's a great idea. I just can't be asked. Why don't you try Axel? Poxy Investments, Andy speaking. Axel, it's me, Tim. Tom who? Oh, Tim. 
Tim, fancy hearing from you. What have you been up to? Axel, we have to get the band back together. The band? That all finished years ago. We've all moved on. I know, but I think it's time. Don't you remember how it all ended? I don't think we can do it now. I do remember. And it was a horrible time for all of us. But I think we were on the verge of something great when it all fell apart. And now, it can all happen again. Look, mate, if you'd asked me a month or so ago, I might have considered it. But my investment banking career is really taking off. I just scored a big promotion. The market's on the way up. Life is good. But what about the band? Sorry, can't help you. Try Pesty. I've been living on the brink of death Feeling like I'm on my final breath Haven't eaten for nearly a week I'm so hungry I can hardly speak Could you offer me a milkshake, baby? I'm surprised when it's cold If I don't eat soon, I'll probably just throw in a crow Pesty? It's me, Tim! Pester, we have to get the band back together. The band? Together again? Look, Tim, it's been a long time and I thought we'd all moved on from that. Look, at least hear me out. Look, I went, it's just, I'm kind of in the middle of something at the moment. Uncle Steve, come back inside! We're about to play Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Hey, you guys. What are you doing, Daddy? Who's this drop kid? Hey, that's not very nice. Go back inside and play with your presents. Go on. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Pesty, what's happened? You were on the verge of becoming a rock god, but look at you. You've turned into a total soft cock. Oh, that's a bit rough, don't you think? Look, I know we had some good times, but in the end it just wasn't meant to be. And I'm happier now, can't you see? Pesty, I can't believe what I'm hearing. This isn't you. You could still be huge. We could be huge. You don't have to run away from it. Run away from what? Let me take you back. Remember our last gig at the Pleasury Hotel? You are on fire. You suck! You suck! You suck! No! Yes, Brisbane's finest music venue was destroyed and it was eventually rebuilt as a strip club but Brisbane's independent music scene never recovered and Vivian's Hamster, the scourge of every band in the city, split up and went our separate ways. So of course we can't get the band back together. Everything we had was ruined in that night. It was never meant to be. It was meant to be and it still is. Look, everyone makes mistakes but you just can't face up to yours and now you're a failure. What did you say? I said it was meant to be and it still is. No, not that. You called me. I am not a failure. So you think I'm just going to give up everything after one little setback? Do you? Well, that's what it looks like. Well, that's where you're wrong. I'm not going to give up everything that easily. And neither should you. We're Vivian's hamster. We were born to rock. Are you with me? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! 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 Come on, Axel, all that's in the past now. Vivian's hamster's gonna be huge. Why do you want to be investment banker for anyway? Oh, don't give me that. Who cares if the Dow's going up? Better try Mick then. <sighs> Mick, it's me, Pesty. We're getting the band back together. Oh, come on. He says he can't be bothered. There's some way to convince him. Mick, practice at your place tomorrow. We'll bring the booze. It's on. Hey. Starting our comeback. Time.
time had been kinder to some of us than others, but on the whole we hadn't changed that much. Axel to join the band again. He won't do it. He's got himself that high flying corporate career now. He's forgotten about us. Oh, it just won't be the same without him. Guys, Axel! Hey, Axel! Oh, so I got a shot. Ah, oh, buddy, how are you? Drop my back. So, what changed your mind? Oh, it, all, it all came to a head yesterday. I was having a really bad day at the office and uh, the NASDAQ was down. Everyone was stressed. People were arguing and fighting. I, I'd had enough. So I went for a walk in the park. While I was there, I started to realise that as much as I love investment banking, it was turning me into a bitter and twisted corporate savage. While I was thinking this, I, I came across a field of flowers. It was a beautiful scene. And I, I was overcome. So I started to frolic. While I was dancing and twirling through the flowers, I realised that I had to leave investment banking, get in touch with my gentler, softer, more artistic side. So here I am. This is great, we're a band again. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. hey wait a hey, minute. Whoa! Huh? What? Who's this guy? Oh, it beats me. Oh, don't tell me you don't know. I'm your new drummer. I saved your lives, remember? The other day, the three of you were walking out on the road outside the practice rooms and you stepped into, into the path of a speeding vehicle and I jumped in the way and I took the impacts. Afterwards we went to the pub, we had a couple of beers, I told you I was a drummer. You said you were looking for a new one and here we all are. Rings a bell. What are we waiting for? Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, somehow it's just not quite coming together. Oh, come on, face it, lads. Oh, we're never going to be as good as we used to be. We ought to just give up. We can't quit that easily. Oh, why not? We're hopeless. No, McFire. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. There's one thing I learned in my short corporate career. So you never achieve anything without setting a goal. You've got to want to be the best. You've got to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I can be truly great. You've got to aim for the sky. Just a little bit of hard work, perseverance, and a little bit of love. We could be the greatest band ever! Yeah! <laughs> That's bullshit, Axel. So you agree we should give up? Of course not. I mean, we were on the verge of something huge. I mean, but look at us. We're a bunch of sad fucks with beer guts. We'll hit middle age before we know it. I mean, we we're never going to be great, let alone half decent. But is that going to stop us? No. We might not be able to play our instruments properly again, and Mick Fire could never sing anyway. But we've made up our minds that we're going to do this. So there's no turning back now. We've been through hell and back to make this reunion happen. And now we're going to do it together. We need to take a good look at each other and tell ourselves that we will accept second best. We will take half measures. Corners will be cut and expenses will be spared. Guys. We can achieve anything we want to, if we just aim low enough. <laughs> ah yes, once again I have erased another feeble, but promising, 
independent musicians' dreams of ever achieving rock superstardom. <laughs> ah, Melody, what have you brought me? Major Bella, I have the latest chart for your inspection. Oh, yeah, it good, good. It doesn't look profit, good. Profit, profit, profit. No! Independent musicians are in the top three spots on the chart! And what is the listening public thinking? And there's something else. I was out the other night checking out some talent and I came across a band making a comeback. So? That's your job, is it not? Y yes, but I think you'd be interested in knowing the name of this band. Well? Uh, out with it! V Vivian's Hamster? Vivian's Hamster? Not the same Vivian's Hamster! The, the ones that burnt down my club? That Vivian's hamster? Well, I took the liberty of asking a few questions, and apart from the drummer, it's the very same band. The scoundrels! They'll never get anywhere! They couldn't even play their own instruments! Um, well, they are starting to show some promise now. No! No! Um, all is not lost, however. I think I may have found our latest recruit for our arsenal. Major Bello. Meet Ricardo. Don't just stand there, stupid. Sing something for me. <clears throat> Love is a man the angle breeze makes talk sure. It shines. Multicolored light on all of us. Stop! Stop! What? He's the worst one you ever brought me! No, no, no. He'll no. never sell any records! <laughs> Thankfully, Ricardo has some other talents. Ricardo, show Major Labella what you can do. Doesn't have any other talent, he must. <laughs> oh. You know, my boy, I, I just may have a spot for you in our corporation. <laughs> welcome aboard, Ricardo. Ricardo, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, welcome aboard. things up, doesn't it? It certainly does. You know, I could be mistaken. But this seems to be another in a long line of coincidences that stopped us from rehearsing yeah. and getting our act back on stage. You could be onto something there. First there was that guy who nearly hit us with the ute. Hey, and remember that, that evil guy that, that, that came in here and started shooting at the AK-47? Yeah, he was bloody lucky no one got hurt. Yeah, it was. Oh, and there was that evil martial arts dude who, who ambushed us while we were putting the posters up. Hey, oi, come back! Let me go! 
Oh, I say, keep trashing our posters. Yeah, piece of crap. Who the fuck are you? Let me go. You don't know what you're dealing with. You horrible men. What? Where's he hurting that poor defenseless man? But he, but he tried to do it. Still, I posted. Oh! You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh! Oh! Put your clothes down, lady. There must be something that ties all this together. Yeah, nothing that I can think of. It doesn't make any sense. Not unless there's someone out there trying to plot the downfall of independent bands. Or well, using an evil martial arts dude to do his bidding. Come to think about it, I, I did read something along those lines. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Hey, that's the guy who attacked us. Hey, he's also the guy who tried to run us over in the U. Yeah, why didn't you show us this sooner, Mick? Well, we're Vivian's hamster. Everyone's jealous of our success. I, I didn't think anything further of it. Look, guys, we've got some work to do. This guy's serious. It's not only our lives at stake, but the entire independent music scene as we know it. If only we had our drummer here. I wonder what he'd do. Dude, can you take this amplifier for me? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Axel. That's disgusting. What? A little fast, Vivian's hamster. Tonight's performance has been indefinitely postponed. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> Oi, leave my kid alone. We know who you are and what you're doing, Major Labello. Why are you trying to stop us from playing? The days of independent bands are numbered, my friends. It's time for the major labels to resume control of the charts once more. Even as we speak, my up-and-coming new artists, carefully chosen and manufactured from among thousands of applicants, are busily recording songs written by my highly organized team of marketing professionals. You, Vivian's Hamster, represent everything I seek to destroy. A very ordinary band, threatening to make the most successful comeback in independent music history. This guy is full of shit. We have trouble getting one gig a week, let alone getting paid. Yeah, let's get our gear and get set up. Stop them! Bitch! Bitch! Somebody please call an ambulance. Somebody oh help! God. Help! Oh I don't she know okay? what happened. She just collapsed, man. She was just walking down and fell down. Sweetheart, hey. Honey, honey, do give you us know some air. Give us some air. All right. Honey, can I give me that? Can you hear me? 
Somebody please help. Somebody! Look, look, let's see if we can get her up and, and, and take her to the hospital or something. Come can you get up, me. sweetheart? Can you hear me? Okay. Come on, up you get. Up you get. Come on. Nice and slow. Take there your time. Whoa. There you go, honey. There you, all right? you go. Just grab my mouth. Yeah, just, just, oh, just, okay. just, just hold on. Oh, oh. Did you find him? We lost him. What about Ricardo? He got away. Hey, look, here they come. No, they know it's footy season. They trapped us. We've got nowhere to go. I think there's only one way to get her up. That's this is one piece. What do you have in mind? Come here. Work with me, guys. You know, I don't think we've heard from Major Labello for a couple of weeks now. I think you're right, Pesty. Maybe he's given up on trying to thwart us in our path to phenomenal success. Well, I'm glad we can put all that unpleasant business behind us now. Yes, now that Major Labello's off our case, nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, that's right, McFire. I think everything's going to be just fine. And dandy. <laughs> nothing bad's going to happen to us today. Our rehearsal room is just around this next corner. We're going to have the best rehearsal today. Oh, oh no! Our instruments are in there too. Gee, I wonder who's responsible for this. Guys, guys, I've got a clue, hang on. Dear Vivian's Hamster, due to ongoing efforts to thwart your ambitious and highly promising comeback plans, your band practice room has been summarily destroyed. Apologies for the inconvenience. Yours disdainfully, Major LaBello. 
We have to fight back, guys. We don't stop this sick fuck. We're never gonna make a comeback. Yeah, enough is enough. If only we had our drummer here. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, our drummer would know what to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he'd fix everything. Yeah. Hey, look, with all this madness and mayhem, it's, it's been so hard to get gigs or practice lately. We haven't made a lot of money. We can only afford to send one of us to Indonesia to find camp. How are we going to find him in Indonesia? Do, does anyone here speak Indonesian? I'll learn it for a couple of years in school. Well, I guess you're it, Tim. So, Tim, what happened in Indonesia? Yeah, did you find Cam? Well, it wasn't easy. My Indonesia was pretty rusty. So, picture me standing in the middle of a crowded street with a phrase book in my hands, frantically trying to make myself understood. I can't picture it. All right, check this out. Searching everywhere for someone who knew Cameron. So how come you lost all that weight and put it straight back on again? How come the footage is so crap? Who the fuck did you have there filming with? Sure as hell it wasn't Paul Barassi. Shut up and let me tell the story. So, I was searching everywhere when suddenly this mysterious stranger started following me. Uh, yeah, do you know where I can find him? Please follow. Can I offer you uh... Yeah. I've been expecting you. Our people in Australia keep me informed. You do? Yeah, I know. I know everything. I know about the attack on the rehearsal room, the big storm, and that song and dance routine of yours. You have people spying on us. Not just you guys. Then uh, who else? The Bella and his record company, Ricardo and Melody. Who's Melody? Uh, you, you know the one. You've seen her in that car chase. She's the Bella's uh, marketing manager. She used to be a young Sophie star with a promising singing career. The Bella tried to sign her, but he was outbid by a rival company. As her first single started to reach number one, the Bella started a smear campaign against her. Rumours started spreading that she liked torturing kittens and other small fairy animals. She never knew La Bella was behind it. Her record sales plummeted. She went broke, and La Bella offered her a job. So how do you know all this? I made it my business tonight. Since I've been here, I've had a lot of time to start figuring things out. But Le Bella tried to split the band up. He tried to destroy us, Tim. He knows that if Vivian's hamster can make it in this industry, then anyone can do it. And if that happens, independent bands everywhere will become hugely popular. That'll spell an end for the major labels. Oh, man. I had no idea what was at stake. We have to win this, Cameron. Well, the future of music as we know it will be doomed. There's one way we can win. How's that? There's this little island here, off the coast of North Queensland. Oh, yeah. It's Major Labello's island fortress. And so Cameron started telling me that we had to go to this secret island fortress and take on Major Labello and his minions in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. I must say, I wasn't feeling very convinced. There is a way you can defeat them. You need to learn Hamkido. The way of the hamster. Ham keto? 
Yeah, there's an old master in the hills. I'll take it to him. Is he a bit hard of hearing? Master, in his son, uh, Bananu. Ah! Whoa! Kami tidak bermaksud untuk main kananmu. Itu adalah pelajaran pertamamu. Kosongkan cangkirmu, pikiranmu, seperti satu gelas cangkir berisi air kotor. Dan kamu harus kosongkan semua yang kamu tahu untuk memulai yang baru. Seekor hamster sangatlah cerdas dan selalu waspada, selalu melihat setiap arah, sehingga dia sehingga dia tak akan dapat terperangkap dengan kejutan. Ah, ini tiada pak. Perasaannya banyak hal-hal yang sukar terhadap kami. Orang ini mencoba untuk menghancurkan kami dan panjang lain bersama dengan kami. Bersihkan pikiranmu yang suka mengganggu itu. Jauhkan kemarahanmu, cara hamster untuk mendekati semua musuh dan pikiran yang gembira dan baik hati. Kendaranya prinsip yang bagus, tapi itu bisa bahaya majab kan sanggat fensi dengan orang-orang ini. My Robelo, apa kamu bilang My Robelo? Ya. Yeah. Son of bitch, kalau saya bertemu dengan orang brengsek itu, saya akan pukul pantatnya. Saya pernah dijanjikan karir untuk bernyanyi dan meminta saya untuk menandatangani kontrak setelah itu. Ha! Well, what do you reckon? So much for Hamkita then. Uh, look, I know this master guy wasn't all he was cracked up to be. But after that happened, I found this training school in Badan, and um, I reckon if we all train really Look, hard, Tim, we're... no martial arts. You can just forget it. But I, I did this weekend course, and all this really cool stuff. Martial arts and keto has nothing to do with us making a comeback. Oh come on! Maybe maybe like that time we were in the in the park and we came across that martial arts tournament. 
What when was this? It was about 10 years ago. Don't you remember? There was Tim was firing a machine gun and I got smacked in the head by a guitar. Oh, there was that um, that blonde girl from the record industry, something Record Industry Association of America. Yeah. She killed the she killed that guy. It looked a bit like him. That never happened. I think you're on a bad acid trip, Axel. Oh, I thought we were making an album. Shouldn't we just concentrate on that? Yeah. Yeah. We, we did a lot of work on it while you're in Indonesia, Tim. I think you'll be impressed. Hey guys, the studio called. Um, someone stole our master tapes. Stolen? How? The studio got broken into last night. On the security cameras, there was a whole heap of goons dressed in, in our black balaclavas. They were being led by this dude doing crazy looking martial arts. Ricardo! Major Labello sent them, no doubt about it. Oh, that's the end of the album then. No way! Well, we're gonna learn Ham Keto, train really hard, go to that secret island fortress, and get our tapes back. I thought you were against Ham Keto. Yeah, it sounds kind of dangerous. Guys, we're Vivian's hamster. He can't treat us like this. We have to fight back. That is a stupid idea. Right. Let's take a vote. Okay. All those for? All those against? That's me, Pesty, Tim for, you, and the guy in the green shirt against. We're going. Yes. Bugger. coming for our upcoming uh, <laughs> auditions. Auditions. <laughs> Everything uh, is going according to plan except good. for one small detail. And what might that be? Well, I don't quite know how to put this, but... Well, come on, out with it. Our sources inform me that there could be some independent musician spies trying to infiltrate. What? Independent musicians? Here? Barging in on my, my, my search for the next big pop superstar? Who do they think they are? Well, if my sources are correct, it could be none other than Vivian. Vermin! That's who they are! All of them! Try hard parasites! Well, you know what? Let them come. Let all of them come. I have a big surprise planned for them. We'll have some fun, won't we, Ricardo? <laughs> I'll destroy them all, and then my label will rule supreme. <laughs> I'll destroy them all. <laughs> oh, 
guy must be hard of hearing. I went up to him and asked him how the weather was. Fine, he said. I said, can we borrow your boat? Fine, he said. Oh, that's a bit rough on the old geezer. Who cares? The future of independent music as we know it is at stake. Who is this guy? I think he's one of us. Look, here's Major Labillo's Island. We have to get to this little cove here. Now, uh, from what Cam said, if we get there just as the guards are changing over, we'll have about five minutes to hide the boat and get ourselves ashore. Love your work, Pesty. Here we are, stuck in the middle of the ocean, and there's this great invention that's great for keeping engines going. It's called fuel! Oh, fuck off, Mick. If we'd waited for you to organise this, we'd still be sitting in our practice room while it got demolished. Here we are, stuck in the middle of the fucking ocean, with this fucking map that Cameron gave us. I bet you he's not doing anything this stupid. Oh, knock it off! If you two don't stop arguing and, and let me figure a way out of this, I'm going to shove the propeller up your asses. Come on, guys. Can't you see we're playing into Major Labello's hands? He wants us to fight. He wants us to turn against each other. The only way we're going to succeed is if we act united as a team. We speak as one voice. If we just... Axel, shut, shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up! up! Hey, guys. Guys, look over there. There's a boat coming towards us. We're safe! Hey! 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 Hi boys, uh, you look a bit lost. Is there anything we can help you with? Yeah, we've uh, we've run out of fuel and we're uh, kind of stranded. Have you got any you can give to us? Sure. I'd love to give you some. How would you like us to give it to you? If you've got some kind of hose, then maybe you can pump something to our tank. You might need some suction to get it started. We've only got this. It's a bit narrow. The boys got something bigger? Well, actually, is this a two-stroke or a four-stroke? Uh, you don't want to waste that. It feels pretty expensive these days. You boys look sad. Is there anything else we can do for you? Anything? Well, as a matter of fact... I'm quite hungry. Can you spare us some jelly? Would you like whipped cream with that? Yeah, it's all right. Tank's full. We better get going, guys. Why are you always in such a hurry? Don't you want to stay and play with us? Well, yeah. Sorry, I have to go inside the future music as we know it. Cross girls. Thanks. Bye. According to this map, if we go around that rocky outcrop over there, there's a small cave where we can land. Damn! Guards! We'll have to create a distraction. What do you have in mind? Uh, nothing. Well, I've got a better idea. Why don't we just tell them we're here to see Major Labello and ask him for a recording contract? That'll work. Oh! 
Who goes there? Nobody move. We come in peace. We have independent musicians coming to see Major Labella and we're asking for a recording contract. Well, very well then. Welcome aboard. Okay, we'll go to... We'll take you to the Major. He'll be delighted. Mind your feet, don't get wet. Are you going to bring that with you? It's a little conspicuous. Hey guys, wait for me! Sort of crappy TV show. That's our song. The studio is right, he's got our tapes. He's killed the tune. What the fuck? No, I like what he's done with it. He's a little more backbeat though. before we can make a copy. Tough break. The guys are thieving low life. That's why we're here, to get our tapes back. Okay, that's why we're here. But pray tell, what the fuck are you doing here? Mate, I've tried it all. From motivational speaking, to corporate fraud. Nothing was getting me ahead of the game. What game? Game of life, son. I saw this advertised and I thought, why the fuck not? I'm gonna be a pop star. Even if you somehow manage to get through to the show, Labella's gonna suck you dry and spit you out at the end. As long as it's a nice slow suck. Seriously, man, the guy is freaking sick and twisted. He's evil. Nah. He's been trying to kill us. All some misunderstanding. He's been really kind to us all. He really cares about our careers. So, are you staying somewhere around here or do they ferry you back? Putting us up some really nice digs, mate. Come on, I'll show you around the island. Let the tour begin. Yeah, you got really got good digs, Dodge. Yeah, yeah, nice big rooms. One of those as well. Spa tub. Massage. Yeah. So ended the tour. Whoa, what's going on here then? Looks like they're in some some kind of trance. How do they put them in a trance? Drugs? Uh, see what's in his hand? Looks like a watch on a chain. He's hypnotizing them. Dastardly. Once you sign my recording contracts, you will be legally bound to me and my label for all eternity. Legally bound for eternity. So that's how he keeps his hold over them. They can never, ever sign to another label. Shh! Listen! And furthermore, independent musicians are your enemy. They will destroy you. You will kill the independent musicians. Kill, we will kill the independent musicians. 
I knew it. He's putting together his own killing force. Still want to be a performing seal? Why would he want to do that? To attack us, of course. I knew we needed to learn Ham Keto. Oh, fuck Ham Keto. Fuck this island and fuck Labello and his sequin fucking army. Shit. I think they might have heard us. We better get the fuck out of here. What about the tapes? All in good time. I need to be prepared. Are you coming? Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm gonna find out what old mate's really up to and uh, they've got some free food and drink on there tonight. Well, suit yourself, but get ready for the hamster's second coming. I'll be ready. So you said you'd be around. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Vivian's hamster, what a delightful surprise. I hear you've come in to ask me for a record contract on my label. <laughs> your ass is grass, Major Labello. We're going to kick you and your wussy girly henshin's asses so hard, you wish you'd never been born. <laughs> 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 what makes you think you've done a chance? For the last two weeks, we've been learning the ancient art of Hamkido. The way of the hamster. <laughs> oh, 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 Ricardo, don't be so ungracious. These are steam guests. <laughs> Jim. Je Je gentlemen, as you've probably heard, I'm auditioning some new talent right now. Perhaps tomorrow when auditions resume, we could sign you up and put you to the test to see what you're made of. Uh, Melody, uh, show our esteemed guests to their accommodation. <laughs> Try not to burn it down. Follow me. Safe from harm. Who wanna harm us? Yeah, apart from you, lot. Why are these guys still following us? <sighs> Look, we're not trying to hurt you. If you think we're out to get you, you're completely mistaken. I know you've had your differences with Major Lavello in the past, but you have to understand that he works in a very competitive industry. Oh, look, cut the crap. He destroyed our practice room, he's stolen our tapes, and he tried to kill us. How can he call that healthy competition? Why are you working for him anyway? Don't you miss the old days when you were a big star with a big future? I put that all behind me. I wasn't cut out for that. You were cut out for it. It was Major Labello who destroyed your career. That's a lie. It was the market that brought me down. Major Labello gave me the chance to put what I've learned in marketing to use so as to help give talented people the chance to make their dreams come true. He's just using you. He doesn't respect you. Now, you listen to me. We work hard in this company to give the public what they want. You think you can just bang out a few chords and make a comeback? Guards, take these jerks to their new hotel suite. Hey, but, but this says dungeon. It's a themed room. Now get a move on. Good night. 
out, fellas. Well, I must say, this looks pretty secure. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna harm us in here. I don't think she was for real. What? She didn't believe a word she said to us then. She knows Labella's just using it. You've just got the hots for it. Look, whoever you are, you just have to accept the fact that we're in the ship. There's a whole killing force out there being trained to attack us, and we're not going to leave the place alive. Yeah, that's right, Sim. Oh, for fuck's sake, will you idiots stop with the whoever you are? I've been rehearsing with you people for six months now. I'm your fucking drummer, and my name is Jess. I found the practice room. I drove you everywhere. I got you your last three gigs. And now I've followed you into this cesspit to have the living crap beaten out of us all. So don't pretend like you don't know who I am. Look, we don't have to die down here. The five of us just put our heads together and think we might just come up with a plan to save ourselves and stop Major Labello at the same time. Yeah, this guy's right. If we expect the worst, of course we're gonna get whooped. But if we stick together and believe in ourselves, then just maybe we can achieve something spectacular. Morning, fellas. Breakfast is oh. upstairs. Ooh. Oh, I slept like a baby. He doesn't seriously expect us to get up on stage and sing pop songs. I reckon there's something fishy going on here. I spoke to some of these pop singers to try and tell them how evil Major Labello is. I like to hear a bad word against him. It's got to be nice. I was speaking to some of them before as well, and there's just something freaky about him today. Welcome back, my eager and ambitious budding young superstars of tomorrow. In today's round of auditions, you will be facing a new type of challenge. Talent for singing and dancing is one thing, and good to have. But in today's corporate music market, it takes a lot more than that to be a successful celebrity. To find out who amongst you has the physical stamina to survive in today's harsh corporate music environment, I have arranged to pick auditioners at random to go into physical combat hand-to-hand -hand against my assistant Ricardo. Now, let's see, who shall we call up to the podium first? Someone totally at random. Someone like, um, how about uh, Vivian Townsend? Random my ass. fighting team. It's almost as if they're being guided by some sort of mystical teaching. What is the meaning of this? Well, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? I pay you good money to study the behavior of the markets. You're telling me you can't keep an eye on these imbeciles? There should be a piece of cake for you. And you, Ricardo? What the hell was that? Master, I believe I can target their weaknesses. I should hope so. I suggest you use this. What's that? Is that... Are you... Are you going to throw pepper at them? Uh, no, my faithful accomplice. That's a very special substance my team of scientists have worked on for months in a secret laboratory. You throw it at your opponent, and they become irreversibly and permanently tone-deaf. And lose all sense of rhythm. 
But that's totally diabolical. <laughs> They'll never sell another record again now. <laughs> Their I careers mean, are over. But I mean, that's unfair. You, this audition is supposed to be a, a test about talent and skill. Hey, I don't like these guys any more than you do, but to ruin them in this way is totally... Well, it's cruel and wicked. You can't do this. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. Who do you think you are? You can't tell me what I can and can't do. Don't you realize I'm building an empire here? If I'd have known of your insolence when I destroyed your career, I never would have brought you onto my team. I'd have crushed you like a bug. It's true. So you did ruin my singing career. You spread the rumors that ruined my reputation. Yes, yes, it's true. I ruined your career. But I saved you from the humiliation of becoming a one-hit wonder. Your star was rising so fast, it would have crashed to the ground within a month. I gave you a purpose, a sense of being. You owe me, and you will do my bidding. Go, Ricardo, do your worst. <laughs> No! 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 Remember what you told us, Pesty. Anything is achievable if you just aim low enough. You guys were right all along. It was Major Labella who destroyed my career. I totally trusted him, but all the while he was just using me. I'm surprised it took you so long to realize it. I'm glad you finally seen through him. You're a really smart woman and you don't need a twisted jerk like that, you know, pulling your strings. Thanks, Jess. You're a sweet guy. I know I don't need the likes of Major Labello, but he makes everyone just depend on him. That's just how he works. I had a whole other life before I joined him and it's like he doesn't even know who I am. I know how that feels. So, why is he called Major Labello? Well, he used to be in the U.S. Marine Corps. He had a bright future with them until he tried to mount a hostile takeover of the Marine Corps band. He... he tried to turn them into a crack guerrilla unit. He initiated a plan for them to take over the Capitol Records building in Hollywood until they discovered his plan and kicked him out in disgrace. Well, he's a dangerous guy, that's for sure. After helping us, you should probably, you know, watch your back. Yeah, well, I'm not worried about that. I'm planning on leaving the island tonight and starting a whole new life. And with the auditions happening, there are too many people for him to try anything. But you guys should look out, because he's totally adamant about getting you. Yeah, well, you don't need to worry about us. We can take care of ourselves. <laughs> Dude, we are looking for you everywhere. Bullshit, you've been spying on us the entire time. Okay, we were hoping to see some action, what but the? until Dick Ward lost his balance. Anyway, you're missing Happy on the long bar. It started ten minutes ago. Free beer for everyone, are you coming? Um, I, I, you go, I think I'll give it a miss. Okay, well, um, anyway, keep safe, okay, and... If you need any help at all, anything, just you know, give us a call, okay? Okay. Tough to at work? Oh, you bet. I just got back from dropping some of our uh, less successful auditionees off a cliff and beat them to the sharks. But I've got to tell you, Major Label is a tough guy to please. You're new here, aren't you? How can you tell? He called him Major Label O. It's Major Labello. Sure, he runs a major label. So, Major Label. Major Label O. Very funny. <laughs> but you know, the last henchman that called him that ended up Gordon Ramsay's towel boy. Ah! 
Drag your names through the mud, remove your very skin with a dull butter knife so I can dip you in salt water from now until the end of eternity! But hey, it's happy hour. Drink up! There you are, Arthur! How do you get your way back onto this island? Oh, I negotiate with you now. Professional! Guys, guys, got some news. What is it? I've been doing some snooping around. I think I know how to break the hypnosis spell. How? I don't know exactly, but I overheard Major Labello talking to Ricardo about some book to be stored in his office until the next time they do the hypnosis. I'm guessing that book is some sort of instruction book on how to do it. You guys break into the office, get a hold of that book, and the answer will be right there waiting for us. Hey, no one's watching us. Maybe we should go and look for that book. Georgie, you stay here to keep an eye on things. Let's go. How would you like your piece of this ass? through this door. Oh, so we break it down. You and me, Pesty. <laughs> this guy is good. His main diet is turf. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh my eye! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Axel. Sorry, Steve. Oh, come on, guys, we're running out of time. Let's get a move on. Oh, there's someone coming. Oh, quick, hide! Uh, where? Come on. Who the hell are you guys? We're no one. We just got lost. We're not no one. We're Vivian's hamster. We've come here to put an end to Major Bellows' diabolical ways. <laughs> I don't care. He's a bastard. You do to him whatever you want. Who the hell are you? to be Major LaBella's marketing manager. <laughs> Another one? I came here to trash his fucking office. Oh, he's a piece of shit. <gasps> here, help me throw his desk out of the window. Oh, steady on. What did he do to you? Everything. Before he dumped me. Oh. And I gave him all kind of sensual pleasure. 
and he had this little thing he used to do with as a tongue. And sometimes when I was extra... Uh, whoa, whoa, stop! <laughs> Too much information, okay? <sighs> Look, we're just looking for a book, something about hypnosis. Oh, no. He's not doing that stupid mass hypnosis again, is he, huh? Every time he tries to create a big killing of force, he picks the most uncool people to do it. You want to break the spell? Just a sigh. Don't think of an elephant where he is doing the hypnosis and everyone will wake up to themselves. See, <laughs> see? Too easy by the sounds of it. Hey, you wouldn't know where you could find these missing master tapes we're looking for, would you? Right here. He hides everything in the same place. He's got no imagination whatsoever. Totally predictable. Yeah. If you heard it, the records only will know that. Well, Miss uh, Luriga, mm? you've been very helpful, but it's time we took our tapes and left you to pursue your trashing. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, listen. Now that we've got our tapes, can we go home now? We can't do that. Major Labella's not going to stop until he kills us. He's a psychopath. We've got to take him down. Yeah, he's right. He won't stop until he's killed us. I say we stay here, break the mass hypnosis, and turn his killing force against him. Well, first we should get our asses out of here before someone even scarier than that Italian woman finds us. I don't think that's very likely. <laughs> Let me get this straight. All we have to do is wait till the bellow starts doing hypnosis thing again and tell everyone not to think of an elephant. Yeah, it makes sense. Imagine you're in a hypnotic trance or something and someone says, don't think of an elephant. Try doing it. Come on, basic concentration, hey? Yeah. Not so fast, amigos. I think we have a little unfinished business from yesterday. <laughs> what are you going to do? Spray us to death? Oh, 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 that, that smells funny. A bit like... Oh, shit! can beat me now. Vivian's hamster have fled from me and Tara. Where are they now, Ricardo? Gee, I don't know. But they've fled in Terra, so why worry about them? Ricardo, you were supposed to beat the crap out of them, flay the life out of them, and burn their bodies. And what did you do? What did you do? You sprayed them with running diarrhea! Well... Why? Why?! Well, I nearly died after that curry you all ate last night. Why do I surround myself with such idiots? Assemble the auditioners at once. We're going to settle this once and for all. The time has finally come, my friends. You all came here to pursue a dream and to become great. Well, now, 
You are about to experience the greatest moment of your entire lives. You are all destined to be big musical superstars. But there are those who will stand in your way and try to stop you. Independent musicians. The one that tries to stop you the most, the one that wants to crush your dream and leave you languishing at the bottom of the charts, is Vivian's hamster. They're here on the island right now. You need to search the island, find them, and kill them all! Kill Vivian's hamster! Kill Vivian's hamster! Not so fast, Major Lavello. Get them! Don't let them get away! You don't have to do this, can't you see who is using you? You're all such good singers. Really, think of what this will do to your careers. You won't get away now. It's time to break the spell. All together. Don't think of an What? What? You've all been hypnotized. He was trying to turn his all into- I know what he was trying to do. I can remember it all. Me too. We've all been used. Hey everyone, everyone! Look what I just found lying under a desk that looked like it had been thrown out of a window. It's Major Labella's recording contracts for all these recording artists. Give me a look. No, we're anything but that! Not the contract! We're free! We're free! Hey, where's Major Labello? Okay, there he is. You may have stopped my all singing, all dancing, killing force, but you won't stop me. You will notice behind me my former marketing assistant, Melody, chained up to a highly explosive device. As she tried to sneak off the island during the early morning, she is now set to be blown to bits in exactly one minute. You will, of course, try to stop it. You will, of course, try to defuse the bomb and save her. But you will fail. <laughs> you diabolical, scheming, evil man. Oh, you piece of shit. Motherfucker. What up? Come on, guys. We've got to think of a way to save her. Come on, think of something. It's times like this that you start to miss the old days. Back then, there were no hypnotically programmed killing forces, no time bombs, and no megalomaniac CEOs to worry about. Our concerns back then were a lot more grounded. Our only issues were with the media. We were crap at answering questions. Axel, I've heard that on occasions your fellow band members have actually unplugged your guitar. That's a lie. Rogies. Pesty, I've heard that you lip sync. Yeah, that's how I got my start. Fuck me, you've got to start somewhere. Well, I'm no Billy McNeely. I'll put it all behind me. Cameron, I've heard that a passion of yours is 80s electronic drum kits. No, electric drum kits were actually invented in the late 60s. So, Tim, I've heard that you follow the political scene quite closely. Can you tell us why we should stop hamster farming? What? That's oh, bullshit. I'm leaving. <laughs> We've got an interview. Mick Fire, I'm looking at you now and I'm picturing you in 10 years' time. Why do you think you'll still be attractive to fans? Fucking am. Who the fuck looks at you? I'll tell ya. No one. Because you're a fat twat with a dildo stuck up his ass who no one turns on. Look, why don't you run along, bring me back some tart with a carton of beer. Axel, snap out of it. We have to work out a way to save Melody. I've got it. These chains don't look that strong. We'll just, we'll just snap them. <laughs> Come on, break them. Uh, it's not working oh. and there's only 20 seconds left. There's only one thing to do. I'll shield her from the blast using my body. But, won't that kill you? Yeah, you don't have to do that. No, no, Melody, you're a talented, beautiful person and I'm more than willing to sacrifice my life to save yours. But Jess, how are we going to make our comeback without you? 
Yeah, Jess, you're one of us now. We can't lose you. And besides, drummers are so hard to find these days. So you're finally accepting me when I'm about to die? Jess, you've always been a part of us, right from the start. Once a hamster, always a hamster. We'll never forget you. Very touching, guys. But aren't you forgetting Melody is about to die? Get him! Did I? Cool. It's all over, Major LaBello. After that dastardly deed, everyone's gonna think you suck. Independent musicians will rule again. You suck! 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 singers to do a concert and at the end of us headline and show them how it's really done. <laughs> so Melody, what do you plan to do with yourself now that Major Labello is out of the picture? Well, I'm going back to my old career. What? Singing? But what about that powder that Major Labello had Ricardo throw all over you? Yeah, the one that makes you go tone deaf and lose your sense of rhythm. Well, I found the perfect thing. I'm going to be a freestyle jazz singer. Well, let's hear it then. Booba doo ba do do da da do day. Very <laughs> wow, nice. Yeah. Fantastic. I think I can defeat them, Master. I think I know their weaknesses, Master. You suck! 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 You know, guys, I think we've all learned something from this experience here. Like what? To spend longer than two weeks learning a new martial art? Always make sure to know your drummer's name. Always learn to play your instrument before you get on stage. Always carry a spare tank of petrol when heading out on an insane suicidal quest. No, no. I think what we've really learned here is if when the, when the chips are stacked against us, if we all stick together... You suck! And believe! You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! Oh, fuck you it. Suck, Let's just do our thing.
fuck are you? I'm Nick Fire. Sure you are, kid. What the? Sit down, you punk. Watch how the real men do it. But I'm the real pesty. Can you play? Well, no. Well, well then fuck off then and sit down. Let's just go and sing some piss, mate. I'm gonna call my agent. the end for now. The drummer gets the girl. We keep doing our stuff. Mellowing with age, but with as much venom as ever. Such is the way of the hamster. Situation 